Hey guys, so this video is about the cerebral circulation and the effects of stroke. And I've based this video on that terrible first aid stroke table, this one, where they have listed all the cerebral arteries and their lesions. And I've really broken it down so that hopefully you won't have to memorize any of that. Because when I was studying for step one, this literally gave me nightmares. But before I talk about that stroke table, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the posterior circulation. So if you feel like you know this, this thing really, really well, you can just you know skip to that stroke thing. Otherwise, you can just listen to me for a few more minutes. So let's begin. So cerebral circulation is divided into two main parts, the anterior and the posterior, right? The anterior part is responsible for supplying blood to the anterior medial and lateral surfaces, like the frontal lobe, the temporal lobe, the parietal lobe, and the posterior circulation is responsible for supplying blood to the cerebellum, the occipital lobe, and the brainstem. Now, the arteries that supply blood to these areas, they all originate from the aorta. So the aorta, as you guys know, has three parts, the ascending, the arch, the descending. The aortic arch then subdivides into, or divides into three main arteries, that is the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid, and the left subclavian. Now the brachiocephalic trunk, as the name implies, brachio meaning arm, cephalic meaning head, then forms two main arteries, the right subclavian and the right common carotid. The subclavians then together supply blood to the lateral chest, the arms, the shoulders, and the carotids, they ascend upwards to supply blood to the skull. Now the carotids together form the anterior circulation because as they ascend upwards, they divide into internal carotids that goes to the brain, forms the ACA, MCA, and the external carotid that goes to your face. But that's the anterior circulation. What about the posterior circulation? That arises from the subclavians. The subclavian arteries, both right and left, give rise to left vertebral artery and right vertebral artery. And these two vertebral arteries ascend posteriorly in your neck upwards to your brain and give blood to cerebellum, occipital lobe, and the brainstem. Like in this picture here, you can see the blue one is the vertebral arteries and how they are ascending posteriorly. And the carotids are the black ones and they are ascending anterior to the vertebral arteries. So this is basically how the arteries originate. And you can see that they all originate from the aorta.